Today, I'm on my way to Rayong, Thailand. Join me as we travel in search of our own identities and new places to call home. Each time, as we tour around the globe, we choose new topics that are near and dear to us. Today, we will be discussing dealing with depression when you travel. Rayong is a coastal town near the northeast coast of Gulf of Thailand. I stayed for two weeks at the Marquise Boutique Hotel. Paying $31 a night. It was clean, beautiful hotel, very quiet, and it even provided a wonderful view. The surprising part of it was that we even had, for $31, we got a buffet style breakfast, a full breakfast. Stick around as I disclose all the things about Rayong that truly amazed me. Let's reset our minds. From time to time I go into depression, and this can be a bit problematic, especially when you travel alone. As there is no one to turn to for comfort or conversation, drop me a line and share how you deal with your down days. On these days, I do something challenging to get my mind off of it, or I go on a long trip, the beautiful scenery. So today, I'm taking a trip to Liam Chatham Beach. Here at Liam Chatham Beach, you can see the Chame Tham Fin Shrine located in the mouth of the river of the sea where the local people and the fishermen go to pray before going to catch their fish of the day. Walking over to the beach, such an open space with no one around. A true chance to wander and get close to nature as you get in tune with your own thoughts. When I get in my depressive mood, it can last for days. Usually I stop and evaluate my life as I talk myself through it. Sometimes I write it down, identifying everything that is good in my life and everything that I think is not going the way I would like it to be. Sometimes after evaluation, it's 99% good and I still can't seem to shake the depressive mood. Other techniques, apart from being more active like today, that I try, and you could try too, when you're going through these depressive cycles, is stay in touch with friends or loved ones. You know, sometimes I tend to just go in a room, a dark room, lie in bed, and comfort eat. But that, I know, is the worst thing you can do. But we are humans. But stay in touch with loved ones or friends. I love Thailand. Look at this triple O coffee stand. The Thai teas are so reasonably priced and so delicious. For $1.66, you can sit on the beach and enjoy a relaxing cup of Thai tea. I usually take mine chilled in a wonderful atmosphere. I started the YouTube channel as an outlet, you know, as I was traveling alone as an outlet to meet people and see people. If you like the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to comment, share your experience, voice it. It really helps. As we discuss this, let's walk around the town to see how this town really is. I always saw Rayong and I really wanted to check it out. I usually stay closer to the beach area because something about the water, I like to get up in the early morning and jog along the beach and greet the sunrise. But in Rayong, one of the things that surprised me was how far the hotels were from the beaches. There were no hotels that I could find that was close to the beach. Facing your fears is important in times like these. As I said, write them down. What's good in my life? What's bad in my life? And work on what you think is bad and focus on what is good to keep you uplifted. We have now seen the entire beach coast of Rayong and the city. Let's head back to the hotel and set ourselves for a journey tomorrow. Let's reset our minds. 
As I've learned in my meditative process, each day you wake up, you must reset. It's a new day, it's a new beginning. Let go of all your regrets from yesterday because today is the day to claim it as you want it to be. Today I'm gonna go check out the mall at Central Plaza, Rayon. I had stopped going to malls while living in America, but I find that Thai malls are very unique. The mall provides spaces for socializing, dining, and immersive experiences, ensuring that every visit is a multifaceted adventure. Truly is. I can never get tired of Thai food. Look at all these choices. So many healthy options and diversity. Very few corporate stores. More individual proprietors, which adds so much more to the diversity in terms of their product. As we tour around the mall, let's discuss what actually causes depression. I used to think depression was a mood. Just shake it off and move on. But as I get older and these moods tend to be more frequent, I discovered that it's not just a mood. Depression can be caused by brain chemistry, genetics, medications, trauma, drug and alcohol use, and it affects male and females alike. Now this amazed me. I did not expect this. They're literally having a pageant show right in the center of the mall. You can say what you like about Thailand, but even to have this kind of pageant show in the center of the mall encourages its citizens to be diverse, to embrace their identity. Truly, truly amazing. As we watch the pageant show, what are the categories of depression? There are different categories of depression. And so many of our depression goes undiagnosed. You have clinical depression, which is just persistent depression mood or loss of interest in activity. And it's clinical when it causes significant impairment in your daily life. You have people that go through persistent depressive disorder, which is mild but long lasting form of depression. It can last for like up to two years. You know, and, and it usually includes lots of interest in normal activity, hopelessness, low self-esteem, low appetite, low energy, your sleep pattern changes, and you also end up with poor concentration. You have also bipolar disorder, which is like a mood swing, which ranges from depressive lows to manic eyes. And this is something that a lot of people take for granted. You also have postpartum depression. And usually, as it states, postpartum, you get it after birth. But usually, when you have postpartum depression, you, it's a sign as well that as you get older, you have a higher percentage of having depression issues. Let's reset our minds. One thing I love about solo travel is I don't go on a schedule. I go wherever I feel like it, whenever I feel like it. The only limitation that I have usually is my visas. Like in Thailand, on your first visit, you are given 30 days. Let's take a trip over to Koh Samet Island. This is considered to be one of the best island choices near Bangkok and the most popular in Rayong province. Escaping the hustle and bustle of the city life with a short ferry ride to the peaceful island is always one of my favorite things. Let's go back into our conversation as we travel in terms of how do we deal with depression. If you have therapy session, don't skip your appointment. Definitely decrease drinking and alcohol use. Anything in your life that's stressing you, try to reduce it significantly. 
I know right now in America we're going through politics and it's a very stressful time for both people and their family. Sometimes what I do with that as it concerns me as well, I just tune it off. You know, the result is going to be the result. Just cast your vote, pray for whatever you want, and walk away. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Sleep is very important in terms of resetting your body and your mental state. Try to do a regular exercise routine. If it's just to just walk out in the open air or take a trip to the mall, just something to get out of the house, out of your zone. A daily relaxation practice can help to relieve your symptoms of depression, reduce stress, boost the feeling of joy and well-being. You can try yoga, deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, or even meditation. You could also practice gratitude. You'd be amazed. One monk said, and, and I just love the monks over here. He says, every day that you get up, try to do at least one good thing. Whether it be helping a neighbor, giving donations somewhere, helping a friend. You'd be amazed how good that makes you feel. Let's reset our minds. Going around the town to check it out, to see what the town was like. Leaving out at approximately 9 a.m., there were very few people on the streets. Most of the stores and markets, I was surprised, were closed. In Rayun, they don't open up until like later in the morning, like 11, 12 o'clock. And during the days, it's very hot. So it makes the streets very difficult to walk on. I finally found a beauty supply store in the center of the town, which opened early and had really great prices. A successful day, I would say. Let's reset our minds. Another day, another chance to reclaim my life back. Today, we're going to walk around on the streets and check out the market. You can't come to Asia without checking out the Thai market. I love Thai market. One of the things that I found that I really didn't totally appreciate with Rayong, even though I love it as a small town, is that the markets are closed during the day. And you mainly have evening markets and weekend markets. As the sun sets in Rayong, you see the markets coming alive. Now this market offers a colorful experience that combines the best of Thai street food, music, and shopping. As we continue our conversation on depression, let's take a walk down Yamjindu Road, which is a historic street located in the center of Rayong. Now this is one of my weakness as well. Since I've stopped drinking, I find that I do more comfort eating and put on a bit more weight. And especially when you travel, that can be, you know, really hard to deal with as there's no immediate gym in the vicinity where you travel sometimes. But one of the ways to fight depression is to just watch what we eat. Like, go easy on refined sugar and carbs. Eat more fish, nuts, and seeds. Eat more veggies and take your vitamins. Do herbal supplements. Stay away from alcohol and reduce caffeine. And exercise, especially in the sun, does a world of good. We have one last stop to make before we conclude this video. Come on, let's walk over there as we continue our conversation. We're going to go to the Wat Lum Market. I left the markets for last because it's really one of my favorite things to do in Asia. If you or someone you know suffers from depression, be supportive. It really helps. Just listening and being understanding can be a powerful healing tool. Give positive reinforcement. People with depression may judge themselves harshly 
and find fault with everything they do. Remind them about their positive qualities and how much they mean to you and others. Drop me a note on what your coping mechanisms are. If you know someone or yourself that's going through this. Let's reset our minds. As we seek joy amidst our obstacles, subscribe and join me as we try to claim our life back.